Good morning from Gateshead, where today they're launching the Great Exhibition of the North. It's going to be 80 days of events running throughout the region over the summer. I'm going to be telling you more about and it. And Steph is on uh, Tyneside this morning. Uh, this is uh, more details about how big plans for a great exhibition. Oh, she, hello, Steph. <laughs> uh, don't go away. <laughs> We'd want to talk about an exhibition. <laughs> what's going Steph's on, on the this summer. Do you know... M morning to you. The reason why I ran then is because we've been hiding inside until you were ready to come to us because it's freezing. Um, have a little look over the side because you can see the snow here. We're in Gateshead, the wonderful Time Bridge behind me, and obviously it's been snowing here overnight with a beast from the east. Uh, but it's a really exciting day for the region because it's the launch of the Great Exhibition of the North. So this is a huge event which is going to run for 80 days throughout the summer at 30 venues across the whole of the North. It's going to include things like a water sculpture. So have a look at this. They're going to, uh, you can see this is a, a mocked up version of it. So you'll be able to see the wonderful fountain that's going to run across the Tyne Bridge. But it's all about celebrating the North and it's going to be lots of different events to try and inspire people as well and tell them about the history of the region. Uh, you can see here some lego models that are uh, showing what's been achieved in the region as well so this is not just about the northeast it's about the whole of the north uh, there's also a competition running for children they're looking for the inventions of the future i love stuff like that uh, and you can see here some inventions we've got already so these are binoculars which see into the future wouldn't that be useful especially for the lottery numbers uh, we've also got a, a driverless car here that you can sleep in uh, again one for the future and Lots of other inventions. We're going to be meeting some of the kids as well who've invented these. We've got a choir for you later on too. Uh, but more from me here at the Sage a little bit later on. But first, let's get the news, travel and weather where he you are this morning. He is um, going to tell us about details about big plans for a great exhibition of the North this summer. It's not looking like summer there right now, though, is it? Steph, oh. come back. Hold on, she's off. Don't what panic. What is it with me this morning? This is, Every uh, time look, I talk to you, Steph. It's a bit, wait, we're going we're gonna to hold on because it's a bit <laughs> like Challenge Annika. There you are. Where's the crystal? <laughs> Good morning to you. <laughs> morning, everyone. I'm so sorry. I don't know why that keeps happening. Well, here we are. Uh, lots of people waking up to snow here uh, in Gateshead as well, and over the bridge, Newcastle there. You can see the Tyne Bridge this morning, and it's all its glory, and lots of uh, people tramping through the snow as they start their day. Uh, but the reason we're here is to talk about the Great Exhibition of the North. So this is a huge event which is going to run across the region, so 30 different venues for 80 days throughout the summer. And it's going to be uh, everything to do with the arts, the culture, the innovation and just really celebrating what's been achieved in the area and also its future. Uh, and so one of the things that's going to be is a water sculpture as well. So have a look at this. You can see uh, what it might look like on the tide. So quite a spectacular uh, thing there, this wonderful water sculpture. And that will be happening in the summer here too. So lots of different things going on. And we've got uh, Carol here, who's the executive director of the event. Carol, tell us a bit about uh, what's happening and where we are. Well, we're, we're here at the Sage Gate said, but the, the whole exhibition is going to be across the city so we're working in over 30 venues we've got some amazing content the rockets coming back to Newcastle for the first time but we'll also have a virtual reality experience of the rocket so you can really sort of get a feel of what it's like yeah. uh, we're creating um, the North's innovations in Lego uh, yeah, we can see some of them behind you yeah, can't you yeah. there's some brilliant stuff over there um, we've got some amazing music so Lauren Laverne is um, curating the Great Northern soundtrack that will be here in the Sage Gate yeah. said we've got Turner Prize nominated artists from the north there's tons of stuff something for everybody yeah. and and in front of us have a look at these guys morning, morning. these guys are little inventors aren't they yes. so t tell us about them they they basically come up with some fantastic inventions and we'll get our cameraman to have a little look at their uh, pictures while we have a chat tell us what it is they're doing well little inventors is is, is as it says on the tin it's is actually getting our next generation to say well what are the things of the future um, so they're actually coming up some, with some, some designs and we're actually going to make some of their yeah. prototypes and they'll be in, uh, on display in the Discovery Museum. Great. Do you know what? I'm going to have a chat to some of them. So uh, let's have a chat to Ruby here because your idea looks great. Tell me what it is. Well, it's a pen that tells you how to draw things. It can also give you tips on how to draw things. And it has a screen here that tells you how to draw things. And, and what made you come up with this? Well, I know that loads of people feel that they're terrible at drawing, so this makes them feel a bit more confident. Ah, oh, that sounds cracking, Ruby. I love that one. That's great. Let's go and have a look at some more. Now, Will, tell me what you've got here. So, mine's a camping stove that um, can also be a small pizza oven and a toaster. Yeah. 
and because you can't really have toast when you're camping or pizza. And oh, well, I'm coming point. camping with you. If you come up with that, that's a brilliant idea. And Jack, tell me what you've it's got. It's an umbrella walk and fold up to kid size and adult size. And if you lose it, there's a finger scan on, so you can track it wherever it goes. Yeah, I mean, how did you come up with that? Just because I thought lots of people lose their umbrellas. Yeah, they, they, do you know, I've lost three already. Jack, a wonderful idea. Thank you. We're going to meet all of the kids throughout the programme and hear about their wonderful inventions. But this is such a big event to be putting on, isn't it? So it's going to involve a lot of work. And one of the people helping to train up all the people involved in it is Judith, who's from Gateshead College. Tell us a bit about your role in it all. Yes, uh, Gateshead College are training a 1,000 volunteers who are effectively going to uh, support everything that's done across the exhibition. And we know how important it is to have great volunteers. We know from London 2012 that was such a big part of what made the event mm. great and memorable and got people involved so we're looking for a thousand people to do a range of things but to really come along and get involved uh, and uh, and what and, and how are you looking for these people then have you found them already no, or no we've had 800 people who have expressed an interest so far but that's at the first stage so we need loads of people to come forward um, with you know people who are just going to be ambassadors for the region people who are going to be pioneers mm. and showing um, around the exhibits and helping people understand what's going on and, and how it all comes together or importantly people who are going to welcome yeah. all the visitors or the thousands of visitors who are going to come to our fantastic yeah. region. Oh, sounds brilliant. Judith, thank you very much. Thank and uh, we're going to be talking a little bit later on in the programme about the, the legacy of all this too and what impact it'll have on business. We've also got to abandon a choir. Morning! Give us a little... Doo -doo -doo. No, there, there we are. <laughs> so more from us a little bit later. Steph is on time side. Enjoyed that. And uh, she's talking about details of plans for a great exhibition of the North this summer, but very much in the middle of winter yep. at the moment. Steph, are you inside outside this morning, Steph? <laughs> Good morning to you, Dan. Morning, everybody. Yeah, I'm outside now. You can just see the snowy rooftops of uh, Newcastle over there, and of course, the wonderful Tyne Bridge. You recognise that from everybody who runs the Great North Run running across that. Uh, in, in better temperatures than this, it's fair to be said. And I'm over on the, the Gateshead side because we're here for the launch, as you say, Dan, of the Great Exhibition of the North. So, this is going to be a huge event across the region, running for 80 days across 30 different venues, uh, celebrating essentially the culture, the innovation, the arts, the heritage. It's all about promoting and, and looking and inspiring the next generation as well. So loads of things are a part of it, including, have a look at this. This is a, a water sculpture that's going to be running through along the Tyne. So you can see there uh, what that looks like. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? So that's uh, been mocked up just to give you a flavour uh, of one element of this. But there's loads of different parts of it. And we've just come inside the Sage building, which is a fantastic arts and events venue um, on, in Gay Head and we've got Sarah here who's been part of the team that won essentially the bid to host this huge event so tell us what we've got to look forward to we've got over the 80 days of the exhibition there's going to be hundreds of exhibits across 30 venues we're going to have great art in the Baltic Centre for Contemporary Art great yeah. concerts here but we're also showcasing major innovations from across the north yeah and we've got the rocket here which is coming back but there'll also be VR versions of that but we're also talking about innovations of the future and here a hyperloop which is yeah. going to be transportation of the future but even more importantly it's about inspiring the next generation of inventors yes and we have some of them here morning guys We've got these guys up bright and early because they're part of a, a competition called Little Inventors. So they had to come up with an idea uh, for something that they might find in 2030. Joseph, tell me what yours is. So it's a wardrobe that um, you use a more control to open and it gets your clothes. It brings you to your bed so you don't have to get out of bed on a cold day like today. Oh, no, that would really help because that would speed up getting ready for school, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and how did you come up with that? Well, I don't like getting out of bed in the morning, so I thought, hmm. Well, let's get something that can open the wardrobe for me. Yeah, ah, that's a cracking idea. I love that one. And we've got Bean here as well. Tell us what yours is. My invention is a toothbrush that you put toothpaste cartridges in and then you squeeze to get the toothpaste out. Yeah, you see, I am surprised that doesn't exist already because that is a great idea. And again, that'll make it easier to uh, brush your teeth, won't it? Bean, thank you very much. Mia, tell me what you've got here. Mine is a bubble that changes colour depending on the heat. I came up with this because most bubbles are just one colour. Yeah, and saves you having boring. loads of bubbles, doesn't it? That's a great one. And Ezra, tell us what you've got here. My invention is these wristbands that go around your wrist and they start vibrating if you're too close to an object so you know what side 
the objects on because it vibrates. Ah, so that's amazing to help blind people then. Yeah. yeah. Amazing ideas. And they've all uh, been run, this whole project. You'll see here as well, this is a driverless car, uh, which was invented by Dominic, who's inside because you can sleep in it. Are you awake in there, Dominic? <laughs> yeah. And this project, just tell us a bit about it. Yeah, we're asking children from the north of England to come up with inventions about the future and then upload them to getnorth.littleinventors.org and the best ideas will be turned into real things for an exhibition later in the year. Yeah, excellent, great. Well, we'll be talking uh, more in the programme a little bit later on uh, about the legacy of all of this uh, and what all of this will mean. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Georgia here from Hull. We're going to be chatting to her just about how the city of culture was impacted when it was in Hull and how it helped businesses. We've also got a choir and a band the Silver Rock and Roll Band. Do you want to take it away? You can end, end our section here. <laughs> Good on Tyneside nice. Force Thanks this morning. Got more details about uh, the great exhibition of the North. Uh, what's happening, Steph? Is all this summer, is that right? Band. This is the wonderful Phil who is uh, directing them this morning. They are part of the great exhibition of the North. So for 80 days over the summer, there's going to be various events across the region, all celebrating the culture, the heritage, the arts, the innovation, the business, the manufacturing, uh, everything uh, we do well in the North, that's what will be celebrated. So as I say, it's going to be throughout the region and it'll include this. Have a look at this. This is a water sculpture because we're just right next to the Tyne. So this will be running along the Tyne, you can see there the Tyne Bridge in that as well, and the wonderful Sage building, which is where I am this morning. But it's also about inspiring the next generation as well for all of the inventions they might come up with. And I've got some wonderful little inventors here this morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Yeah, so these guys are part of a competition. They've come up with some ideas they think you will see in 2030. So, Francesca, tell me about yours. My invention is called the Allergy Watch. It controls your allergy by um, scanning some food and making sure you don't eat anything you shouldn't. Ah, you see, that is a clever invention. That would really help people with allergies. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, Taisha, tell me about yours. My invention is an uh, ice skating boot. And in the bottom, it's very thick. And when you press a button at the back, the blade we're going. Ah, so you can put your boot on as a normal boot and then out pops the blade. That's yeah. another cracking idea. Thea, what's yours? Um, my invention is a musical holographic toothbrush. So it's when most people, most children don't really like brushing their teeth, so it'll so it'll make brushing oh, so your it'll teeth. make it way more fun so you can sing while you're brushing your teeth. That's an amazing idea. And Rachel, tell me about yours. Well, my invention is called kangaroo shoes and inside there are mini springs. So it's like a mini trampoline. And I made this because not many people have tramp yeah. have trampolines. So it's like a yeah, that's shoe a, that. I would love a pair of them there. Cracking well, thank you very much. And thank you for showing off all of your wonderful inventions. So this is one part of it, but there's so much more to it as well. One of the big questions though is what is it going to mean for businesses? And Sean is, is from one of the local businesses here. Tell us about your business and what it means. Hi. Um, well, I'm from a company called Hedgehog Lab. We're based over in Newcastle. Um, our H Global HQ is in Newcastle and is and always will be. Yeah. Uh, so this is very important to us to get behind and support the Great Exhibition of the North. Um, to showcase everything that's good about the region and the Greater North yeah. and also to shine a light on all the good work companies similar to ourselves are doing in the world of VR and AI and that sort of thing. Yeah, virtual reality and all the kind of modern technology, that's going to be a big part of business in the future. Exactly. Yeah, and, and we're going to bring Georgia in as well because Georgia is um, from Hull and the reason why is we wanted to talk to you about the kind of legacy of when an area does have a big cultural event because of course Hull was city of culture. Yeah. Tell us about your business and, and what it meant for you. So we launched Hideout Hotel halfway through the cultural year last year. Um, what City of Culture did for Hull in general was the large-scale exhibitions and events brought people from all over the world to Hull who otherwise would never have visited. Yeah. And we've already seen repeat bookings at our hotel from that, so people who originally came to visit an exhibition or event and then have mm. since rebooked to come back just to explore the city. 
Yeah. So it's made a big difference. Yeah. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much. And Sean, good luck with everything with yours. You can see behind me as well just uh, some of the. This is going to be uh, essentially a Lego exhibition. Steve's put this together. You can see him stood there. Morning, Steve. So, yeah, so this is just some of the wonderful things uh, created in the North. Judith Ayres from Gateshead College. They're going to be training lots of volunteers up for this. So, if you want to be a volunteer, then do get in touch with them. But you know what? I think we want to hear the band. Kids, come with us. We want to hear the band, don't we, to leave us out? Come on. I want to dance. Let's go on, you guys. Rock, 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 rock.